Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nadine and this is Friday Size episode two. Hello, welcome back to What Nadine Made, my corner of the internet where we make all the things. As you can see by the title, we are talking about Make 9 2024. I finally picked my nine things that I want to focus on this year but I know that I'm going to get distracted with literally everything because I know there'll be new patterns that come out there are some patterns that I've already got cut out ready to make there's things that I need to finish like there's just a lot going on so I know I'll get distracted but like my aim last year if I get half done then I will be a very happy girly and with all that said let's get into make nine 2024. Number one on the list is the Granny Patch Quilt by Lo and Behold Stitchery. Yeah, another quilt pattern. And this one I do actually have the fabric for. For Christmas, just gone, my mum made me an advent calendar and every day was a Ruby Star Society fat quarter. So I actually have the full fat quarter bundle and I'm not sure what the design was like the name of the design i will put it down here once i found it but here's all the fat quarters and i'm just really excited to get started with this i love the granny patch i just love how it looks i love the example with the black background but i think i'm gonna do mine navy because i think a navy blue would probably go with these colors a lot better than black I don't know, I think the black would look good actually, but I think I'm going to go for navy and yeah, just pick out like all these bright pinks and neon, oh god, that's really bright, isn't it? Neon yellows and oh, there's a nice teal one here as well. So I think I'm just going to go with that and yeah, see how we get on. I don't really have a deadline for this. I am going to make the large throw. So I would need to make three, six, nine, twelve granny squares to put in that. But yeah, I'm so excited. I've got more than enough fabric to make this. So there's no really excuse for me to do it. It's just the cutting out that I need to do, which I dread but we're gonna get it done. Number two on the list is the Persian Tiles Crochet Blanket by Janie Cry. I love, when I saw this, and it was just a passing chance that I saw it, we were at Ali Pat, sorry, my cat is going wild here. Hang on. I saw it at the Knitting and Stitching show at Alexandra Palace, and it was just the off chance that I saw it, and I just had to have it. I just had to have it. I just thought it looked so cool. Um, there is an extension to the pattern as well. So you can actually make it bigger. But let me show you. Let me just cuddle her for a bit. And then I'll show you the pattern. And um, my progress so far. Are you going to let me film now? Yeah. Okay, bye bye. This is the finished blanket. The instructions are so well written. Like I can't. I really got it. Um, you get all the wool in the kit. So there's two booklets. There's this one that's got like what colour you need for each round and stuff. And I've just been ticking off. I mean, I've only done one hexagon, but I'll tick off each, you know, each bit. I'll put a better picture up here so you can see what it looks like. All together, the kit and the pattern was 36.99. Which I don't think is that bad, really. I don't think that's bad at all. So this is the first one so far. I just think it's really pretty. I'll put in footage of a close-up look of the block, but it takes a long time just to make one of these because it's so big and it's so intricate. But how it looks finished, how the block looks finished, it's just so worth it. I don't know when I'll get this finished, whether it'll be at the end of the year. I'm going to try and chug on, but it's a really good replacement of my temperature blanket. It's so obviously my temperature blanket I was doing like every day. So this is a nice little um, project to 
replace that now that that's over. Number three is the Fawning Over You Sweater by Brianna K Designs. I desperately want to make a Christmas jumper this year and I just saw this on the off chance on Pinterest. I wasn't looking for any jumpers or anything. It just come, come up on my For You screen. You know the home screen on Pinterest where like the algorithm just takes over. Well that popped up and I just really like the intricate design at the top and the bottom and on the sleeves. I'm torn between that and another jumper pattern that I saw on Etsy. I'll pop a picture up here. I'm always confused which side I need to be pointing at. I think it's here. So I'm torn between those two. They're both pretty, they're both different but they're both pretty cool jumpers. I haven't thought of a colour theme yet. I'm thinking maybe a deep green for the main colour and then maybe like a bright pink and a gold like the detailing around the neck, the bottom and the sleeves but again I haven't really thought about it. I thought after that cardigan that I made I was so proud of it that I think the jumper is like the natural next step to go. I'm sure I'll tell you all about it once I've started making it and got the wool and yeah I'm excited for that. So on to number four it is the fringe dress by Chalk and Notch. I saw this on I think this is another Pinterest one or was it Instagram but I saw the hack the one that's got the buttons going all the way down and you know from last week that I love a shirt pattern or shirt dress so I thought this one was really cute with the short sleeves and the the v-neck I really liked that I haven't picked a fabric for this but I do have what do I have I have this like peachy I don't know what sort of fabric it is but it is from Lady McElroy I've had this for a while now I think I've got three and a half meters of this so I just thought that would be really nice with some nice like tortoiseshell brownie buttons maybe or some bright gold buttons I'm not too sure or maybe I just want to make it plain I haven't really decided if not does anyone know what I could make out of this what would look good I just I love it I'm scared to cut into it because I really really love this fabric but I need to start working through my stash now because I've just got too much and it uh, this is the year where I want to start depleting some of it so yeah any ideas with this or any ideas for the fringe dress number five is the Danny Pinafore dress by Seamwork the reason why I want to make a pinafore, I've already got two. I've bought those and one of them is a bit too big. I need to learn how to resize. The straps are too big. It's too big here at the waist. Um, so I need to learn how to resize that one because that's in a really nice like corduroy purple fabric. But the reason why I want to make this one is because I have this wax fabric and I just I can't think of anything else to make other than this pinafore it's been in my mind rent free for a long time but the only thing I want to do with this pattern is it's deep V at the front but I want a deep V at the back the back of the pattern is just like high high neck but I want a V at the front and a V at the back so I need to work out how I'm going to do that. I'm sure I can hack it to, to do that. I don't think it's going to be too hard. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I just think this is going to be nice for spring and probably autumn, winter. Where I wear the high necks and the... Which, funny enough, there is something on this list that would go really well with this if I got the right fabric. Number six on the list is the Little Doves Year County Cross Stitch by Little Doves Designs. This is something that was on my Christmas list that I did end up getting for Christmas. I don't know if there's any of these left, as in I don't know if the kits are left. I will have a look and I will, if it is, I'll list it below. I'll put a picture here probably of what it looks like. I have already started this. This is something I'm gonna try and do one block a month up until December. I have started this. 
I have done the border. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. I'm really enjoying it so far. There's a lot of counting. I know that it took me a lot of time to... I've tried to work out the blocks already. I don't know if you can actually see that. But I've put in each block to measure it out so I don't run out of space. The squares are really small. It's a lot of concentration. I've already had to unpick one thing already. But this is how January is going to look. I'm really enjoying this so far. The design as a whole is 199 by 246. I'm guessing that's centimetres. Oh no, maybe that's squares. Maybe that's like little squares. I'm not an expert on the cross stitch. <laughs> Let me just put that straight away. I don't know too much about it. I just saw this and I just thought, you know what, that's something I would really like to have a go on. Maybe this was a bit ambitious for my first ever cross stitch, but I'm a go hard or go home person. Like I give myself the hardest thing to do first and I feel like if I can do that, then I can do anything. As I said, so far so good. It is a lot of concentration. I've been doing it in the evenings, just just a few bits at a time. I did start this on Monday. We're on Friday now. So I can get the first block done probably by the end of next week, I reckon. There's not too much left to do. I'm starting to get a bit quicker with it now. So yeah, really enjoying it. Um, and I'm sure we'll talk about it at the end of January where I'll show you the full finished block of, for January. Number seven is the Nico top by True Bias. I don't know if I'm saying Nico or if, it, if, if it's supposed to be Nico. I'm going to call it Nico. So I bought the pattern, but I had it printed at a copy shop. I had it printed at the fold line and it was £5 in total. So £2.50 a page. I don't know if that's cheap and I don't know if that's expensive or just right. I don't know. I haven't been to anyone else. It has been printed nicely. It was only, I only got two sheets. It only needed two sheets because I'm only making the top. I do have fabric for this. I have this stretch jersey leopard print. Oh, and it's really nice and soft. Like it's not a brushed cotton, but it's really nice and soft. This has been in the stash for ages, so I am going to make this. I think I'm going to try and cut this out tonight and maybe give it a start. Because I don't think it's going to be that complicated to make. I think it's quite a simple make. I am going to make one of these today. I do have another top pattern by Ellie and Mac. But that is boat neck. So I didn't know whether I wanted to make the boat neck one out of this or the Nico top. I do have some more stretch jersey come in, but it's black and white striped. We'll just see what happens. Number eight is a pair of trousers, specifically McCall's M8148, which is these trousers here. I'm trying to get myself out of leggings. I uh, go to leggings are just my go-to. I think it's because I'm at home all the time. So I do want to make some more trousers and joggers and just spice it up a bit. I'm not 100% set on making these trousers, but I do have the pattern for this. It just, and I do like them. I think they're quite cute. How much fabric do I need for this? Not as much as I thought. I'm going to give that a go. I don't have fabric for this. But I need to shop around and see what I can get and just go from there but i'll keep you updated if you've got any good trouser patterns that you it's your go-to pattern please let me know below so i can have a look at them and see if there's something that i want to make as i said i don't have many trousers i do have trousers but i don't have many and i don't wear them often and i want something that i can wear often as part of my working wardrobe and not just something that i buy and just put in a drawer please let me know in the comments below what trouser patterns i should look at and what your favourites are. And last but not least is number nine, the Mabel dress by Tilly and the Buttons. 
as I said in my last video, I have made a Mabel top before, but it was a little bit too big. So now that I know the sizing, I feel like I can make this dress with no issues. She says, I'm touching wood and my fingers are crossed. I do have fabric for this, actually. This is the Lady McElroy Floral River fabric that I got in the So Haley Jane box. I think it was September. This was actually gifted by my mum. I think it's going to look really nice as the Mabel dress. I don't know when I'm going to get around to making this. I do want to make it soon i'm thinking spring summer because then i can wear it spring summer and autumn and probably not winter because it's quite thin but i could definitely push it to autumn yeah that is the next one and the last one on the list Woo! There are other things that i want to make in the new year so let's call this my honorable mentions and i need to tell you a story about this because I was born in 89, right? I'm 34 years old. And I went charity shopping and there was a box and it said that there was vintage patterns. Explain to me why I found two patterns in this box. One was made in 1994 and the other one was made in 1996. How is that vintage? I I was I was alive then and now I'm really upset about it because it's like wow if I reached that age now that anything that was in my childhood is now classed as vintage, I'm like so upset about it. But the first one I picked up was this new look pattern. It is 6572. I'm thinking of making maybe this one here. But I do like this one up here with the pocket. This one here. This has already been cut. I only picked this up for like 50p. Um, because the pattern has already been cut. Thankfully, it has been cut to a medium. But the finishing size will fit me. So, thank the Lord for that. I think they've been made to be oversized. But this will give... This will still be a little bit oversized, but not overbearing. There's nothing I can really do about it. The pattern's been cut. I think it's going to look good. I think I do have some fabric for this. I do have some boot clay. Oh, we go through this every time. I do this every time. Is it boot clay or burk clay? I call it boot clay. I have some green with like some gold specks in it. I am actually currently making a heather blazer with that, but I have so much of it left. I think I bought six and a half meters. So... I can actually make one of these as well so that is on the list and also I know I've already picked a pinafore but I did pick this up at the charity shop this is simplicity 8489 it's like a vest but and a vest but it's this one here I need to see where I'm pointing yeah this one here that draw my attention. Anything in leopard print is going to draw my attention. And I saw that and I just loved it. I love how it just, there's just one button, one big button on there. And I just loved it. Now it is small. This one was, this one is 93, I think. You know, back in the 90s, things were a bit small, weren't it? But I think I can possibly just fit in one. I'm going to give it a go. And just see how how we get on but yeah they're the two honorable vintage mentions I'm so mad about it there are so many patterns out there that I want to make I have a whole notion template of basically DIY bucket list of all the things that I want to make there's just so much I'm just gonna try and have a successful year of making I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself, but when I feel like, oh, I want to make something and I don't know what to make, this is why Make 9 is so good, because you can go back to Make 9 and make it. So, fingers crossed. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. Sewing is supposed to be enjoyable. It's not supposed to be stressful or, you know, 
overbearing or a burden so I not putting too much pressure on myself it is just going to get done when it gets done but I am excited for this year and I'm so excited to have you all here sharing it even if it is just a couple of people or a thousand people I'm being very very assumptuous here that I'm ever going to reach a, a, a thousand views at a time but yeah I really appreciate you all being here so thank you so let me know what is on your make nine for 2024 I'd love to know what you're making right now what you got going on what your plans are if there's anything new that you're trying this year as I said I am new to cross stitch I've I don't think I've oh, I think I cross stitched when I was very very young but I've never made anything to this size before so thank you so much for watching do all the youtube -y things subscribe like the video please like the video because i think that it does help push it out to more people so that would be really helpful and please subscribe so we can be sewing friends crafty friends and i will see you next week bye